Hey guys, you know, I know this video came out sooner than you think, though. Well, it's because today's topic is about the Time Variance Authority, which is about the Loki series coming soon, on June 9th. So, I thought I'd make a little explanation about it for the fans of the Marvel Universe. Okay, let's begin. Now, the TVA is a fictional time police thing that first began in the issue 372 of Thor. Yeah, and as you can see, Loki has the marking as a prisoner of some sorts, considering the fact that he, although the last time we saw him, it was when he escaped with the Tesseract and that whole time travel hijinks. Though, apparently he didn't went so far though, as he is soon immediately captured by the Time Variance Authority. Though what doesn't make sense is why he was the one arrested, considering it was the Avengers who did the time tampering thing. And he and it's the and they're the reasons he got out, who knows? Maybe that he's just being in custody in order to make up for his crimes in his timeline though. And might even hunt down the Avengers that did of their timeline <sighs> Yeah, honestly, all this time it's getting repetitive saying timeline multiple times. For one of the characters we'll be starting, it's with Justice Peace. And you can see there's multiple versions of him from different timelines. So it's in theory that the TBA is the key to the multiverse. And also will be the key to the What If show that will be coming out soon. <laughs> and you thought it was just going to be the Scarlet Witch that was going to be the key to the multiverse. You're wrong. But anyway, here's the more important character. Which is Mr. Mobius, you know, the guy that was in the elevator with Loki about, you know, talky talky, you know, that sort of deal. Yep, Mobius will seemingly be introducing Loki to the Time Varies Association, like a lawyer, an intergalactic multiverse lawyer. And look at their uniforms right there. Though apparently Loki's not going to be wearing those things, so yeah. As the multiverse corporation, they practically dealt with lots of villains, cosmic villains. Most importantly, Kang the Conqueror. So, I have a theory though that these guys made it be the key for Kang the Conqueror entering the MCU. Who knows, he may be the Phase 4 villain, or Phase 5, you know, considering there may not be an Avengers movie in Phase 4, but anyway, moving on. Though in also theory about this stained glass which has the devil's head. That may be the Mephisto art there. So, so yeah, this Mephisto may be the next villain though. I don't know, there's like a lot of theories about who the next big villain will be. Yep, as much as it pains that he's no longer in the main timeline but he still will live on is as an anti-hero of this association, I think. I don't know if for sure he's going to join the TBA or whatever. Though he was in there due to more hijinks of time tampering by the Avengers. But whatever. Yep. And he's running probably for the leadership of the TBA or something. I don't know. I'm, don't, I'm not really sure about the plot within Lo the Loki series. Now, to theorize the plot of this, it seems that Loki will be on some desert world. Or maybe it's like, a, maybe back in time, though. Then again, the space tone can't really take you back in time, though. So, yeah, maybe another world in the time variant station. Find him there and arrest, arrest him in custody as for questioning of what he did in order to get clues about what the Avengers did in altering the timelines. And Loki may have a chance to be able to get per to get some type of pardons for his crimes. You know, since they're basically time altering police and junk, though their job is to keep times in balance. But the Avengers already disbalanced in it, and they may use Loki as their own little. I don't know. I'm still working on the theories though, and my explanations are getting on straight. Sorry for this poor, poor explanation. 
Yes, but though it is very clearly that Loki is going to have to be working for the Time Variance Association to get himself out of this situation. And apparently he's now in the more immature state of 2012. You know, before he decided to help Thor a couple of times. Yeah, you see... Yeah, this may be a little tricky. I mean, this is not the Loki we knew. I mean, we. I mean, it is what we knew since 2012, but not since we knew until Endgame, though. This is a real game changer for him, for his character, as he is an entirely different new person in a tiny new adventure. Who knows what's going to happen right now, especially when the multiverse is being unlocked. Maybe we'll see the Living Tribunal, who's the Great Judgment Cosmic God. Yeah, that'd be pretty sweet, considering he basically has... I mean, every association needs a judge, f since they're time cops and all. And, and like I said, anything could happen right now. Anything, when it comes to multiverses and junk. It's just so unpredictable. And still, there's been multiple theories as what's going to happen in the series, but... Like I said, we can't be entirely sure of it. We can't predict the future. Though, I don't know, maybe some of them can, but we they won't tell us. No way. Right. And now the Loki series has been released today. I am so watching this episode. I kind of got busy with a few things in my life. But nothing's going to stop me from watching this new episode. And nothing can stop you now. Or, well, you already watched it anyway, but... Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Yep. I'm gonna try and try.